All right, so here we are practicing for Punnett squares with some dihybrid, incomplete, codominant, and sex-linked inheritance problems. The first one, we're just assigning dominant, intermediate, or recessive phenotypes to these allele combinations. So in this first one, we've got only dominant alleles. That is going to be dominant phenotypes. And the second one, we've got only recessive alleles. We've got homozygous recessive going on. So therefore, that's going to be a recessive phenotype. When we're talking about incomplete dominance, though, when we have a heterozygous combination like this one on C, we have an intermediate phenotype. An example of that would be like pink flowers. Like if red and white were breeding, then we'd have an intermediate pink flower coloration because of this heterozygous combination. So that's just a review of what incomplete dominance might look like. We have blends of dominant and recessive. The second problem, we're actually going to do a cross. So we have the intermediate phenotype here, blue-gray chickens. That intermediate phenotype comes from, and if you need to know where I got these alleles, just check out the problem. The blue-gray chickens, let me just go ahead and get all this stuff cleared. The blue-gray chickens come from this heterozygous combination. Chickens with black feathers have dominant alleles, and chickens with white feathers have the recessive alleles. And in this problem, we're being asked to cross a blue-gray chicken with a white chicken. So these two, blue-gray and white. So if blue-gray chickens and white chickens were to cross, this is my cross. Here's my Punnett square. One parent on the side, one parent on the top. And these are my possible combinations. I'm going to change color. We got 50% chance of having blue gray chickens. We got 50% chance of having chickens with white feathers and a 0% chance of having that homozygous dominant genotype. So it's a 0% chance of chickens with black feather phenotype. Next problem. It's the same type of um, cross we've got going on, just a normal Punnett square, but we've got something called codominance happening here. And so for we've got so for red coat on the cows, we've got the allele R, and for the white coat, we've got the allele W. So these are our allele combinations. This right here is going to be a red coat cow. This right here is going to be a white coat cow. And here is the codominant phenotype, the roan. Sorry for the handwriting. We've got that roan phenotype, the red roan cows. And so what we're being asked to do here is to cross a red roan with a pure red. And let's look at our results. We know that red is the dominant R, and that white coats are the dominant W, and we've got a codominant phenotype going on. Uh, that means that we're going to see in the heterozygous combination, we're going to see red and white coat. We're going to see both things show up. So if we're crossing the red, pure red, and the red roan, this is our combination. Cross. Nothing actually that different in this process. Sorry for that mistake. I got distracted. And there you have it. We have a 50% chance of red and a 50% chance of red roan, that codominant phenotype right here.